If you're looking to buy a home anywhere in Winnipeg, it might be a tough call. And it will be even harder once the spring season gets underway. Experts say this is typically the time of year when many people list their homes. But with so many people looking to buy, prices are skyrocketing. To explain more, CTV's Rajiv Deer joins us now. Rajiv, what's the market looking like in Winnipeg right now? Well, Gord, we're standing in, uh, on La Verandry in St. Boniface, not a single for sale sign here on the street. And according to the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, there's about a thousand homes available on the market in Winnipeg at any given time. To put that in perspective, it's the same amount available in Saskatoon, a city that has a third of our population. It's come to market. April 4th, we're taking offers and showings are going to start March 30th. It's been just over a year since Brett Fontaine started selling homes in Winnipeg. Uh, all areas are very, very desirable right now for, uh, for different reasons. And, you know, it doesn't matter if we're in Sage Creek or River Heights or St. Vitale, we're going to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of buyers. Fontaine says the average home can be on the market anywhere from a few days to a matter of months. Demand is still on the rise with more people moving to the city. But supplies are tight, which is driving prices up. Out of the last 10 years, seven out of the last 10 years, we've seen double-digit price increases in Winnipeg. The Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation forecasts this trend to continue, even as more people flock to the city. And with more incentives... When you look at interest rates being at a historical lows... Many first-time home buyers are looking to cash in. Here in Manitoba, a five-year fixed mortgage can cost anywhere from 2.99 to 3.79%. Mortgage broker Daryl Harris believes interest rates will be at record lows at least until 2014. But homeowners need to prepare themselves for higher payments in the event of a hike. Think about where they're going to be in five years and where those interest rates are. So working with someone who's in the mortgage uh, business to come up with those new payments. Canada's prudent lending practices should help us avoid a mortgage market bubble, according to Deanne Ambeau, who says... Only 6% of Canadian homeowners are in a tight position should rates rise. The Bank of Canada and, and CMHC have looked at uh, what we would consider financially vulnerable households, um, and those would be households that hold um, certainly mortgage debt is one thing, but personal debt as well. Now, Deanne Ambeau of the CMHC says 80% of homeowners are safe, and that's because they have more than 25% equity available in their homes should rates rise. Rajiv, what about the environment? Is it still time to buy or to sell? Well, with prices going up, more homeowners jumping, more home buyers jumping into the market, it's definitely a seller's market out there. Not so for buyers because the inventories are still low. All right, thanks for this, Rajiv. CTV's Rajiv Deer reporting tonight.